now uh, we have this uh, console here and now it says please enter first integer value and I say okay I my first integer value is going to be number two and then press on enter key on your keyboard and it says please enter second integer number right so here I actually again enter the value number two and then I just press on enter key on my keyboard and it says two and two two comma two and it says this is uh, the number two the two is the same as two right so this means that this if statement here is actually executed this condition here is evaluated to true the first number that we actually entered inside this console is actually number two right and the second number that we actually also entered inside this console is also number two and this means that first number is equal to second number right so this means that it's going to actually execute the codes that we have inside the curly braces of this if statement so as you can see it actually executed this line of code here and you can see this value here it says the two is the same as two right but what happens if actually first number is not equal to second number in that case if this uh, expression here inside the parentheses is uh, evaluate to false then in that specific case this if statement here is not going to be executed it is going to be skipped by the compiler so uh, let me actually uh, run our application again just hold the control key on your keyboard down and then uh, uh, press on f5 key here so now uh, you can see that we have please enter first integer value so the first integer value is going to be number 10 and then press on enter key on your keyboard and it's going to ask you to enter the second integer number so the second integer value is going to be number 20 and then press on enter key on your keyboard and it says 10 20 and you can see that this line of code here is not executed by the program so this means that this expression here is evaluated to false this expression that we put here is evaluated to false why because the first number that we entered is number 10 so number 10 and the, the second number that we entered here is number 20 so number 10 is not equal to number 20 right so this expression here evaluates to false and this means that this if statement here is going to be skipped is uh, this if statement is not going to be executed at all so let's create another if statement so for example after uh, the ending curly brace of this if statement here I can create another if statement so notice that I am still inside this main method right I am still inside the curly braces of this main method and after this if statement here I can say if and again I can put a pair of parentheses here and now I can say if first number is actually greater than second number so now what I'm doing here here I am actually using this e um, actually greater than operator here so I'm saying that if the value of the first number variable is actually greater than the value of the second number variable so remember variables are placeholders for data when we actually create a variable this means that we want to hold some data and when I actually refer to the name of a variable I am actually re uh, referring to the actual value of that variable so first number holds a value of an integer value right but this is a variable that holds that value and when I refer to that variable this means I am referring to that actual value inside of this variable so if first number is greater than second number then I can actually open and close this if statement by using these curly braces and inside the curly braces I can say console dot right line and inside the parenthesis I can actually again use dollar sign because I want to use string interpolation expression I must use dollar sign and then I put two quotes and here I can say the uh, number one so I put a pair of curly braces here and inside the curly braces I actually refer to the name of the first number the first number is greater than is greater than so again I put up uh, another pair of curly braces here so inside the curly braces now I, I am actually I can refer to the name of the second number variable is greater than second number so let me close this uh, output area here so at the end of my statement I, I need to put a semicolon so here I am saying that if the value of the first number variable is actually greater than second number then in that specific case execute this line of code here console dot right line the first number is greater than second number so let's run our application so just hold the control key on your keyboard down and then press on f5 key on your, key on your keyboard 
so now it's going to open this uh, uh, console area here for you so it says please enter first integer value so our first integer value is going to be for example number one and then press an enter key on your keyboard and it says please enter second integer value so i'm going to actually enter num number five this time and then press an enter key on your keyboard and it says number one point five number one a comma five and it says press any key to continue so what does that what does this mean this means that this if statement here is not executed why because the first ent uh, integer value that we entered is actually number one right so number one here and then the second integer value that we entered is number five so number one is not greater than number five right so this expression here evaluates to false and this means that it's not going to actually execute this if statement Thank you.